In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not boast of preaching the gospel, since it is a duty which has been laid on me. I should be punished if I did not preach it. If I had chosen this work myself, I might have been paid for it. But as I have not, it is a responsibility which has been put into my hands. Do you know what my reward is? It is this, in my preaching, to be able to offer the good news free and not insist on the rights which the gospel gives me. So though I am not a slave of any man, I have made myself the slave of everyone so as to win as many as I could. I made myself all things to all men in order to save some at any cost. And I still do this for the sake of the gospel, to have a share in its blessings. All the runners at the stadium are trying to win, but only one of them gets the prize. You must run in the same way, meaning to win. All the fighters at the games go into strict training. They do this just to win a wreath that will wither away. But we do it for a wreath that will never wither. That is how I run, intent on winning. That is how I fight, not beating the air. I treat my body hard and make it obey me. For having been an announcer myself, I should not want to be disqualified. The Word of the Lord How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts! My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts! The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts! They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts! For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us His favour and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts! Alleluia! Alleluia! O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem! He sends out His word to the earth. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told a parable to the disciples. Can one blind man guide another? Surely both will fall into a pit. The disciple is not superior to his teacher. The fully trained disciple will always be like his teacher. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the splinter that is in your eye, when you cannot see the plank in your own? Hypocrite, take the plank out of your own eye first, and then 
you will see clearly enough to take out the splinter that is in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our limited insight into each other makes it hard to lead others in a way that is fair and just. We may be tempted to think that we see so much more clearly what needs to be done. In today's Gospel, Jesus suggests that we are all blind to some degree, so it could be like the blind leading the blind rather than the wise leading the foolish. Changing the metaphor, he gives us the comic scenario of someone trying to take a splinter out of a neighbor's eye while being oblivious of the much larger hazard in his own eye. Can you imagine that? The image of dislodging the plank from our own eye warns us to be aware of our own defects before judging others. Our own failings can block us from understanding the other person, and this should make us slow to judge and to condemn. Jesus had earlier stated that God, who does see clearly into every heart, is compassionate and merciful to all, even to the ungrateful and the wicked. As Christians, we need to take our lead from God, who sees all things clearly, and be merciful on that account. Having been nourished by the word of God, let us now offer all our prayers and petitions and the petitions that have been recommended to us by our friends and family members as we pray the Our Father prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. God bless, take care, and stay safe.